In this video, we're going to dive into some amazing AI models that can help you with all kinds of tasks and introduce you to OpenRouter.ai, a service that gives you access to all of them using one API key. So let's look at a motivating example of why you would need the different kinds of models. So let's take a look at this example where I have a chat agent hooked up to OpenAI chat model. All right, so I'm going to start chat and ask, who won the 2024 US election? So as you can see here, it does not have the most recent information. Right? It says that the last uh, cutoff was this, and it did not have this information. Now, I'm going to now update this so that I have the perplexity model. So this perplexity model is from perplexity.ai, and it has the ability to return also the most recent information from the internet. All right, so I'll hook this up instead. Save it, and I'll ask the same question. Who won the 2024 US election? All right, and it accurately returned the most recent information. Let's take a look at openrouter.ai. I'm in their rankings tab, and you can see it from this tab, top trending this week. So I, I'm selecting all categories, and I'm going to see what the community is using, the large language community is using, and what's popular. So I can see that the Claude model is very, very popular. The Gemini Flash model uh, 1.5 is also very popular. And you can go down this list also to get a feeling for what the community is using. So uh, OpenAI, uh, this 4.0 Mini is also a very, very popular model and, and an excellent model. And you can go down this list. You can also see for more targeted uh, type of use cases like programming or marketing, you can see what the right models are that uh, people are using for this different use cases. So this is just a great way for you to get familiar with all the different kinds of models. You can drill down. So for example, Gemini Flash 1.5 is very popular. So I'll select this. And you can see more details. So it has a million token context window, which is uh, huge. And it is relatively inexpensive. So about eight cents uh, for one million input tokens and 30 cents uh, per million output tokens, which is uh, very, very uh, affordable. And then it gives you uh, some more details here in terms of uh, what it's uh, useful for, uh, including uh, the ability to um, do multimodal. So there's visual inputs that it can take as well as text input. And of course, you can just use it and try it out a little bit uh, with uh, this chat. And then you can just try, try it out uh, for your use case. So how do you get access to all the models from Open Router? It's very simple. You go into here, and then you select the OpenAI chat model and drop this into the canvas here. And what I'm going to do is open it up, and I'm going to select base URL. So by default, uh, it points to the OpenAI URL. But all I need to do is change this to the OpenRouter.ai. And now it's just going to point uh, to the OpenRouter service. And then, of course, you input your credentials with this API key from OpenRouter. So now, how do you uh, select which models uh, from the OpenRouter.ai? So I'll go back to the open router and I'll select um, models. And I'm looking for the perplexity one. All right, so you can see that there are online version and non-online. So the online version is the one that has access to the internet search uh, results. So there's different uh, uh, different sizes. So typically uh, the 70B uh, is uh, good enough. Uh, it has uh, the uh, relatively less expensive uh, cost uh, while having really good results. So I generally select this one. So you can go in here, and then you can uh, just select this one here. So I'll copy this. And then all I do is select like this, and that's it. Now it's hooked up, right? So now if I connect this here, this open AI chat model now should have the same uh, input as this. So let's go ahead and just double check. So I'll clear this, and then I'll ask the question again. All 
right? So it, it's now given me uh, the answer from the perplexity model from openrouter.ai. Now I'm going to show a different use case uh, where I have a uh, multi-agent PDF to blog content generation. So this uh, use case is I take a PDF and then I uh, go through various agents. So content analyst agent, project planner, a set of writers, and uh, a editor, and then I generate a uh, a blog from that. All right. So this use case, I'm just going to show you how easy it is. Uh, to change from one model to another. So if I go into uh, here, uh, so this is pointing to perplexity. And for this use case, uh, it's best to use the uh, Google model. So the let's just go ahead, go back to here in the rankings. So uh, Google is, is very, very good at, uh, especially the flash model. Uh, it has a really good context uh, size, and then the, the cost is relatively inexpensive. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this. And then I will go here and just input that value. All right. So uh, from my perplexity um, node, I just changed this uh, this model here. I, I didn't have to change my API key. I didn't have to change anything else. And now I have access to this uh, new model that has uh, this one million contacts. So if I go here and then go through this process, I'll just uh, get it to execute. So I'll select uh, my PDF, right? And then uh, it's going to go, right? So it's going to start uh, working through this. And now it's uh, using my uh, the Flash model, the Google Flash model uh, from uh, openrouter.ai. So it's very, very simple to change models. And as you can see here, there's a ton of models uh, that you can use for various purposes and uh, incredible uh, flexibility that you have to change from one model to another, all with one single API key.